If you're interested in using an exotic weapon pair with mildly confusing unique weapon talents and a mildly confusing set bonus, you've come to the right video. If you didn't find out yet by the title, thumbnail or the vague intro, I'll spell it out for you. We're taking an in-depth look at the Devil and Heal Exotic Marksman Rifles. Similar to the previous guides, we will take a look at the base stats, the weapon talents and the ideal mods for these weapons. The similarly designed Devil and Heal are Exotic Marksman Rifles. The Devil and Heal both have a unique weapon talent and a set bonus together. The Devil's Talent Fire increases stability by 30% for 15 seconds when landing a headshot and additionally to that, body shots increase headshot damage by 30% for 15 seconds. The Heal's Talent Fury increases weapon damage by 15% for 15 seconds when hitting a weak point. Additionally, hitting skill proxies increases critical hit damage by 30% for 15 seconds. Both are quite powerful, but the weapon set bonus, the Devil's Heal, makes it so both weapons gain both talents. And on top of that, it increases the buff durations by 15 seconds. Also, weapon swap speed is increased by 50%. So there's a whole strategy behind using these weapons. Uh, besides this, they fire at a rate of about 275 rounds per minute. The base magazine holds 15 rounds in total, without extended magazine that is. And once you run out, it can be reloaded in just over two and a half seconds. As they are marksman rifles, they get increased headshot damage, which ranges between 140 and 170%. This adds to the already high headshot damage. The weapons both deal around 75,000 base damage per bullet, with maximum firearms that is. Uh, up to 60 meters. Shooting an opponent in the head is of course heavily recommended because of all the headshot damage bonuses. Its base headshot bonus is 110%, that's for the marksman rivals in general. Add the 170 bonus and you're up to 280% already. But of course the fire talent, brutal weapon talent and mods can even further increase the headshot damage. They, they could increase it up to 358% which is insane. However, landing headshots can be quite hard as it's a semi-automatic marksman rifle with quite a high rate of fire. It can be compared in this regard to the SCAR H. This means you have to control your fire if you want to land those headshots, which is surprisingly doable but you just can't spam. The stability and accuracy are decent for a marksman rifle, but they will matter nothing if you're simply spamming the weapon. However, you want to keep in mind that the kick is mostly vertical, with some horizontal kick and of course some spread, but when we take a look at the accuracy and stability, you'll see that it's mostly a vertical kick. So just keep in mind that you won't spam it too much and you're good. The weapons allow all four of the mod slots to be filled and for reasons we showed in the headshot damage example. We recommend you specking into mostly that, the headshot damage, with some increased critical hit damage, stability and reload speed. This will result in the mods and rolls you see on screen. But though the headshot damage can get quite high on these weapons, we don't recommend them for a sniper build because they have less one-shot potential than some of the bolt action rifles. If you fight in closer ranges, you're better off using an assault rifle, a semi-automatic or maybe an urban MDR even. But where these weapons shine are in between gear sets like Sentry Skull or Hunter's Fate. So if you want to use them, use them. Probably want to use them with that. Thanks for watching. Before ending the video, I want to ask you if you have used these weapons and what your experience with them was. Let me know in the comments down below. And with that, I'm leaving you to the emptiness of your own existence. Have a good day and peace out.